town with your humor. Masters of the Universe, Skeletor Sword is today's. I don't think this is gonna happen. Hold on. This is like the most metal children's book cover I have ever seen. Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe, based off of the popular 80s television show. This book was created in 1983, the, the same, same year that Masters of the Universe aired by Roger McKenzie, illustrated by Fred Carrillo. Boom! Look at this! Yes! Two arms, Masters of the Universe, commanded He-Man, the ultimate hero, uh, riding Battle Cat. He raised his legendary power sword and shouted, Skeletor's demons have attacked Point Dread. He's very upset by this. He-Man! The fighting was fierce. But Eternia's mighty champions soon turn the tide of battle. Look at that. He-Man is battling a buff wizard. Was there a was there a buff wizard in He-Man? I know a lot of there was a lot of buffness. Um I'm looking at He-Man and that that doesn't make me insecure about my body in any way, shape, or form. That was easy, He-Man said man at arms and he's uh he's mustacheless through this whole book man at arms with no mustache this is not canon maybe too easy man at arms and uh he man has some type of kiss makeup on in this panel also the person who did the uh the talking balloons and the lettering Mwah. That is so exquisitely awful. It hurts me physically as a cartoonist to see something like that. He-Man! Suddenly a big water hand grabbed He-Man. That's, that's not something you get to say every day. Whoosh! There's sound effects. I forgot the sound effect up here. Clang! Thud! Whoosh! Just like in the cartoon, there's really awful sound effects. Look out! He-Man was dragged far underwater, where Merman stole his fabled sword. Skeletor will be pleased, the evil sea lord thought. When I bring him the other half of the power sword. I just discovered I did my finger taste funny. What does that mean? Does that mean something? Should I look that up? Swimming away quickly, Merman disappeared. First of all, Merman? Like, they're really, like, these names... There's like Beast Man and there's Merman and um, Manny Faces. I remember Manny Faces. Do you know what he had? He had Manny Faces. Swimming away quickly, Merman disappeared in the ocean's depths while tangle weeds held He Man fast. Mm, don't get tangled by them weeds. Say no to drugs, kids. Listen to Nancy Reagan. Most men would have given up then. They would. I, I would have. I would have given up. Uh, especially being dragged that far underwater, I would have probably just died. But not He-Man, muscles bulging. Oh my. The strongest man in the universe ripped free and then swam to rejoin his friends. This is exciting. Later, many miles away. This is another dimension or world. It's Eternia, but they measure distance in miles. Keep that in mind. All right? 
Two dark figures meet in the shadows of Castle Grayskull. Skeletor! Merman boasted. The prize is now ours! He even talks like that when he's out of the water. That's just, that's how Merman talks. <clears throat> I have to do Skeletor. I need a drink of water if I'm going to... No, hissed the Lord of Destruction. It is mine. <laughs> You've served your purpose. Now be gone. At last, the power sword is won, and the secrets of the universe will belong to me. <laughs> they don't have the laugh. But I'm taking liberties and including the laugh. Okay. Skeletor turned and thrust the gleaming blade into a hidden stone lock. Whatever works for you, Mac. Um, only with both halves of the power sword can Castle Grayskull be opened. The jaw bridge slowly... Lowered. J jaw bridge. It's it's a drawbridge, but because Grayskull has a mouth, it's a it's a it's a jaw bridge. It's a j jaw br That is clever. That is That is clever. Jaw bridge. Jaw bridge. I will rule Eternia, and I will have all the secrets of the Ancient Ones. After hours of long and hard travel over rocky terrain, they also measure time and hours, the Masters of the Universe reached Castle Grayskull. By then, it was far too late. Skeletor must be inside the castle by now, He-Man said bitterly. Oh, he's, he's bitter. He's all like, all right. Skeletor must be inside the castle by now. What the, what the? Ugh. Without the power sword, we have no hope. We just gotta give up. It's hopeless. The end. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna... It is never hopeless. And who said that? The wizard Zodak appeared in a burst of magic. Just say no. Skeletor has upset the balance between good... I don't know what this wizard sounds like. If he looked like a Merlin-type wizard, I would do something like this. Skeletor has upset the balance between good and evil. This guy doesn't look like that, but you know what? He's a, he's a wizard. Skeletor has upset the balance between good and evil, he said. A champion must be chosen to do battle with him. I wonder who it's going to be. He-Man bravely stepped forward. I will be your champion. Then, with a flash of Zodak's magic, He-Man was gone. Disintegrated by magic, what will become of our hero? He wasn't, he was teleported. Without even being told... That wizard didn't even say, Alright, here's a plan. I'm going to teleport you into the castle, and then you're going to do your He-Man thing. Nothing was discussed. Straight, BAM! You're gone. And you just... <laughs> he could have been ambushed in that moment where he's trying to... Re he could have, like, had to go over into the corner and just... <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, you don't just teleport someone without telling them. 
He Man. Moments later, so he's been gone for moments, probably swirling through dimensions, ripping through the fabrics of space and time. Moments later, He Man found himself inside. That's italicized, so we're all supposed to be shocked. Inside Castle Grey Skull, where he faced his greatest enemy. Who is his greatest enemy? Oh, Skeletor! He Man! roared the Lord of Destruction angrily. He Man! Hogan! Yeah, that's about right. Hogan! He Man! What dark magic has brought you here? Not dark magic, He Man replied. Zodex magic. Available now. Zodex magic. Side effects include vomiting, diarrhea, and just being teleported without any notice. Okay, so this is important. He Man needs to be aware of something. Uh, Skeletor's sitting on this throne thing, and I immediately recognize this throne. I had the Castle Grey Skull playset when I was a kid. That's how you trigger the trap door that's underneath that carpet. And I don't know where this is in the story of He-Man, but doesn't He-Man know? Wouldn't he know there's a trap door there? Is this the first time He-Man has been inside Castle Grey Skull? Because I don't like. I don't know. Is this is what this is setting up? Is this canon? But don't don't step on the trap door, He-Man, because that's a trap door there. He's, he just has to turn the chair a little bit, and the trap door opens underneath that rug. The secrets of Castle Grayskull shall never fall into your vile clutches, He-Man shouted as he raced towards Skeletor. With a cruel laugh, the Dark Lord turned his throne and opened a secret tap, trap door beneath He-Man's feet. Told you so? Oh, he, he had a cruel laugh. <laughs> I missed that as an opportunity. Oomph! Da down, go down goes He-Man into a dungeon. He-Man dropped into a deep, dark dungeon. Using his great agility, he landed on his feet like a cat. He's like a cat. Only, um, just between you and me, the Thundercats were better than He-Man. Just saying. lion -O would have definitely landed on his feet. And I don't think Mumra would have gotten away with any of this crap. Just saying. Right, he looked around and suddenly realized he was not alone. Welcome. Well, well, welcome. Well, Beast Man Southern all of a sudden. Welcome, growled Beast Man, Skeletor's most evil servant. I've been waiting for y'all. Drop in this here dungeon. I don't know how to, do, I don't want to do, I don't know, I can't remember what Beast Man sounds like. It will be a pleasure to put an end to you. Skeletor will be king. You cannot win this contest. Shucks. <laughs> and uh, they're fighting. And uh, this is a good time. To, like, the artwork is really cool in this book. I really think it's cool. Um, and I like this, um, this deep, dark dungeon that's only about, like, maybe eight feet uh, tall. Uh, I dare not lose, He-Man exclaimed as muscles surging with power. He lifted Beast-Man off his feet and hurled him up through the trap door. He-Man quickly found a way out of the dungeon. That is a crappy dungeon, if you can quickly find a way out of it. Of course, I guess it's his dungeon, right? Skeletor must be stopped. I've got to find him. When He-Man reached the throne room, Skeletor was nowhere to be seen. At that moment, 
Deep within Castle Greyskull, Skeletor stood before the Vault of Knowledge. The Power Sword is mine, he boasted. It is the key that will unlock the secrets of the universe hidden in this vault. They too will be mine at last. <laughs> Not if I can help it, Skeletor, He-Man said as the vault door began to open. I've found you. All you have found, Skeletor hissed, is your doom. You dare not stop me. I dare anything, Dark Lord, for Eternia and freedom. Let's examine that sentence for a second. I dare anything? Is that something people say? Is that, is that, a, is that an, like a, oh snap, he man. You told him, is that really a witty comeback? I guess he's got muscles, and that's all he needs. He doesn't need the brains. He doesn't need to have some type of witty reply. He just like, shut up, Skeletor. <laughs> just shut up. I'm the good guy, Skeletor. As He-Man and Skeletor struggled, the door to the vault continued to open slowly. Blinding white light poured from within she got down but she never gone and she gonna make it through the night and more car guns i went to minnesota to minnesota to be outside i can't fight he-man skeletor thought at least not fairly i need a weapon then he remembered the, the power sword and he pulled his half uh, of it from the stone lock. He could have pulled the whole thing, but he didn't for reasons. And, um, all right. You have lost, shouted the Lord of Destruction as he swung at He-Man. Whoosh! Clang! Moving with lightning-like reflexes, He-Man dodged the blow, and Skeletor's sword struck harmlessly against the stone wall. Slam, He-Man grabbed his half of the power sword. Now, Skeletor, he said, as the Vault of Knowledge slammed shut, we meet on even terms. Never, Skeletor said. You used magic to enter the Castle Grayskull. Ah, I got you, He-Man. You used magic. I can use it to leave. Light blazed from his power sword. We will meet again, the Dark Lord vowed, as he faded from sight. And when we do, He-Man, things will be different. No, they won't. Same crap over and over again. It's over, Tila said later when the Masters of the Universe met outside. That's, you know, way to contribute, Tila. I'm glad that there's some sort of female representation in these books. You ladies deserve it to have someone that you can... I... To tell you the truth, no one but He-Man actually did anything, except for that wizard. <sighs> Let's just get through this. Skeletor is gone, and the secrets of... Ke Skeletor is gone, and the secrets of Castle Grayskull is safe once more. He-Man glanced at the morning sky where black storm clouds had already begun to gather. Yes, it's over, he said. For now. He-Man! In today's adventure, He-Man learnt some powerful lessons about uh, friendship. Uh, he has friends, especially wizard friends, with powers that can help him defeat evil. So remember, kids... Be nice to your friends, especially the wizards who have powers that can help you. Masters of the Universe. Thank you, thank you.